हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट डक्ट एक्टेशिया और ऑल्सो कॉल्ड हैज पेरी डक्टल मास्टाइटिस इन डक्ट एक्टेशिया और पेरी डक्टल मास्टाइटिस यू विल सी दैट देर इज डायलिटेशन ऑफ द ब्रेस्ट डक्ट आर सीन एंड दिस डायलिटेशन इज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद पेरी डक्टल इन्फ्लमेशन दिस डक्टल एक्टेशिया इज मोर कॉमनली सीन इन स्मोकर्स It is more commonly seen in smokers. Here there is in ductal ectasia. We will see that there is dilatation of the ducts are seen in ductal ectasia mainly. Then pathology of ductal ectasia. In pathology. the first stage of ductal ectasia is actually dilatation in the first stage there will be dilatation of one or more lacticiferous ducts are seen mainly there is dilatation of one or more lacticiferous ducts are seen whenever there is dilatation of these ducts this dilatation of these ducts so has a result the discharge will get accumulated here so because of this dilatation of the ducts we will see that the accumulation of discharge is seen so there is accumulation of the stagnant brown or green discharge is seen in these patients and this will result in this discharge which is seen in the duct this will actually irritate the a uh, irritant reaction will occur because of this discharge okay now this irritant reaction is responsible for development of periductal mastitis or it can even progress to abscess development and slowly sometimes this abscess may even progress to formation of fistula formation so this uh, mastitis will get infected and because of this there is purulent discharge will be seen slowly when this will break down then there is formation of then the walls when the walls rupture then there is the discharge the um, discharge may come out and slowly it might result in formation of fistula then okay then clinical features in the clinical features of duct ectasia or periductal mastitis the patient will present with obviously nipple discharge can be present of any color and typically it is brown or greenish color and then there is also a sub areolar mass which is actually this dilated duct will is seen has a sub areolar mass because here you will see the presence of nipple so below the nipple it is seen has a mass so it this is seen has a sub areolar mass is seen and along with that there is um, sometimes abscess can be seen if it is infected and if there is rupture of the abscess then it can present has mammary duct fistula and there can be nipple retraction is also seen in these patients so these are the most common presentation then in the diagnosis in the diagnosis first we do a ductography in the ductography obviously has this in the ductography we pass a um Uh, contrast material into the ducts so this these are the ectatic ducts so as a result these ectatic ducts are filled with the contrast material so as a result on ductography we will see that the dilated cystic structures are seen in the ductal ectasia and um, mass or re, if the if the patient has either mass or nipple retraction is present always we should exclude the carcinoma in these patients for exclusion of carcinoma how do you exclude the carcinoma we would do a mammogram can be done and also we can do a histology and for histology and, and in the histology we should find negative cytology or histology should be negative in um, ductal ectasia then treatment in the treatment of ductal ectasia and uh, periductal mastitis we can do hadfield's operation in hadfield's operation in this we will do excision of all the major ducts are excised 
and we have to shave the nipple shave the back of the nipple also so that we could make sure that all the uh, terminal ducts are removed to ensure the removal of all the terminal ducts we will have to shave back the nipple also because this is mainly done to prevent recurrence or else there might if you leave any of the ducts then there is a chance of recurring recurrence of this ductal ectasia then cessation of smoking is important and this cessation of smoking will actually increase the chance of long term cure rate antibiotic therapy may be formed whenever there is abscess formation Thank you and thank you for watching.